Ike, Ike Owens, um, who, if you don't know who he is, you should definitely know who he is. Mm-hmm. Um, he's two-time Grammy Award winner. He, d- you know, did guest songs on Sublime, was m- most famous for uh, Mars Volta and uh, Jack White. Um, and um, basically, he is just a, a extraordinary virtuoso uh pianist and unfortunately he passed away um but um it's really he's he's a uh just this incredible i'm gonna say he is because he's you know he's here he's here forever um even though you know the his vessel might not be here um it's just my own opinion but um I don't want to talk about him in the past. Um, he he is this amazing light of a person who just, I think me and him shared a lot of like the same journeys, but obviously he got a lot of luck here and was much more talented. Um, so we got along instantly. Um, and he's somebody who was a staple in Long Beach. Um, and I lived in Long Beach for like 12 years. So he was the guy that everybody knew because of obviously like the, his, uh, his resume, as far as music. I mean, I would say, um, and I don't think it's just my opinion, but the opinion of many others, uh, that it, for our generation, he's going to be one of the most famous like pianists, uh, because Mars Volta, Jack White, you know what I mean? Like who gets that lucky? Um, and, uh, that being said, um, he lived in Long Beach and he was a local legend and I had seen him at, you know, bars and clubs and never really talked to him because it's kind of, I, you, I think, cause when you grow up in California and LA, like you, you do run into famous people and you don't really, you kind of just learn that like, let them be them and you're not going to ask for autographs or try to, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like yeah. give them their peace and private time. Um, but that being said, throughout those Long Beach years, I ran into him. And he was somebody who, like, by the time I was in SoCal, I don't even know if he knew my name, but I knew, but obviously I knew his name, but but I would see him and he would see me and we would always, like, say hi to each other and be cordial. And he, we would talk about the, the few times he was at my house um, just with, like, different friends. And that was, like, the combination. Um Probably SoCal, we did our first uh, uh, tour, um, like a West Coast tour, and <laughs> it was a total debacle. Um, but when we came back, our first uh, show ever was uh, at Alex's bar, and it was with the Lions. And I don't know if you guys know who the Lions are, but they're, they're another band that you should check out, and they mm-hmm. should be famous, and I hope <laughs> one day they will be, because they are mind-blowingly good um so we played with them and i was fortunate enough to be in in a car with like uh dennis owens who's from the good foot who is another legend um i've just been really fortunate to be around people that i truly like admire um so we had malik moore who was uh one of the singers of the lions uh you know we had dennis owens and then we had uh ike uh and myself and uh, I mean, I can't even, uh, it's, it's one of those things where like when I was in the car, I was like, my mind was blown, but everybody else in the car was like, hey, what's up guys? Cause they all knew each other through different scenes and stuff musically. So, so basically um, we had played a show with the Lions and uh, at Alex's bar. And at one moment in time, uh, towards the end of the evening, I was uh, in a car with Dennis Owens Malik Moore um, and Ike Owens, and we were all just dialoguing, chatting. Um, and that's when I would say Ike became a little bit more of a friend than an acquaintance. Then, you know, again, SoCal got some traction. We started playing a lot of different shows everywhere. And we played a pretty good show. Basically, there's a band called Plague Vendor. They're on Epitaph now. Um, super cool dudes um and uh you know we 
played with them at Alex's bar and, um, and we played after them and they were like the big band. Um, mm. So that being said, I was wasted by the time we played. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and when I played, I just put it all out there. And then when the night ended, I went into the back of Alex's bar to, you know, do the payout and stuff like that. And uh, Ike just was very generous in his, um, you know, his, his praise of what he had just seen. So then he said, I'm going to, he's like, I'm going to record you guys. I'm going to produce you guys. Whoa. You guys are my new favorite band. And I was just like, at that point, SoCal had had a lot of offers from a lot of people. Um, but the way music is, is like people tell you things and then it sort of dissipates in some way or another. And, yeah. you know, again, I, I, if somebody's drunk telling me things I want to hear, that's great. But it, it really, it, it doesn't count until it's like the AM or, you know, early PM hours and you're actually having a real conversation with somebody about moving forward on something. Um, so that being said, I told the guys in the band, I was like, dude, I just talked to Ike and he loves it and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I'm not even like gonna act like it's anything more than I'll just take it as like a compliment for that night. Yeah. And leave it at that. Didn't want to get your hopes up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, and, and to me, that was enough, you know, like awesome, you know? Um, and then he hit me up. A few days later and he called me and it was you know like noon and he was just like dude don't think i forgot about what i told you like uh wow. you know i really want to do something with you and we need to be like very serious about this um hmm. and then <laughs> and then i was like he's like i still you know he's like uh basically i'll jump to we had that week, we had been asked to do an interview for the OC Weekly. And, you know, I, I, I'll just add that this is the only time I've ever been on a podcast uh, or done an interview where I wasn't wasted either. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we feel special. Thank you. 